Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, problem is summary ranges. We will be given a sorted unique array, nums. And we need to return the smallest sorted list of ranges that cover, cover all the numbers in the array exactly. What does this mean? Let's see. That is each element of nums, that is each element of this array is covered by exactly one of the ranges and there is no integer x such that x is one of the range but not in nums. Each range a to b should be output as a arrow b if a is not equal to b and if a and b are equal then it should be only like single digit. Uh, like single character so let's see this uh, let's see a test case so we have this test case right this is the nums array which is given to us nums so what we need to do is we need to in the output we'll have an array and this will be the ranges these will be the ranges so how these ranges are uh, uh, we have uh, uh, taken them as let's see that so see <clears throat> first of all what we have e over here 0 1 2 they are contiguous right they are contiguous consecutive numbers right these are consecutive numbers so we have not taken 4 but because 3 is missing here 3 is not there na? so 3 is missing so this is one range this is our one range which is 0 is a and 2 is b so this is a comma b range that is 0 comma 2 range. So you can represent this as we can represent it as like this that is a arrow b a arrow b. So a is what 0 0 arrow b is what 2. So this is one range. So c fine. Now here 4. Now we have 4 but he, here we have do not have 5 right. So 4 is only the range so a comma b here 4 is only there both a and b is 4 only so when a and b are equal so we just simply write the character so 4 is simply written now 6 and 7 are consecutive numbers so this is another range so here a comma b a is 6 b is 7 so we can represent it as 6 arrow 7 that is like this Fine. I hope you understood the problem. Now let's see how we can approach it. Uh, see, it's very easy problem guys. Try to think of approach. Uh, first of all, we'll discuss hints and then I'll highly recommend. Just try to think uh, the approach by yourself. So see, we have this 0, 1, 2, 4 and 6 and 7. This is the nums array which is given to us. Fine. So see guys, it's obvious that we will start from the starting of the array. From, from We will start from here. And uh, let's say this is our start. So this is our start. Right. We will go forward. We will go forward until we are getting consecutive numbers. Right. We are getting consecutive numbers. We'll go. Now here we have no, uh, like this 4 is not consecutive because 3 is missing here. So we got this range. So we are going till we do not, uh, we are getting consecutive numbers. So here from here you can like assume that we are going till we are getting consecutive. So something like while loop you can use like until you are getting the consecutive numbers just keep on uh, going forward. Fine. So this could be one case and when you do not have consecutive number then this is the new range right 4. So this will be new range and then 6, 7. So, so you come to 6 again you go ahead. So these are consecutive. So this is one another range 6, 7. So I hope you got some idea about the approach. Just try to think by yourself. Try to write code and dry run on a test case and then you can continue watching the video. So see guys what we will do. Let me write, uh, write the array again. See. So here we have 0, 1, 2, 
4, 6 and 7, right? What we will do, we will start from the starting only. Here, first of all, we are taking, let's say start uh, and also let me do indexing. So, here indexing is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. Fine. So, start... Uh, here we are starting, we have start from 0 and we are taking a variable end. So end is also at 0. Start will tell us, so see, a comma b we have to find na? a comma b range. So a is the start, b is the end variable, right? So this we have taken. Start and end. You can take it, uh, uh, any names you can take. These are basically variables only. Fine. So now what we will do, we will continue traversing, we'll have a while loop. So we will continue traversing until we are getting the consecutive numbers. That is this end, end pointer, this end variable we will be moving forward. So we will continue uh, until end is not equal to, sorry, uh, we will do, so this is nums error, right? So we will continue our loop until nums of end is not equal to nums of end plus one fine so as in uh, nums of end uh, plus one if you add one it so this number comes so like basically they are consecutive so we will keep on moving forward that is one plus nums of end is not equal to nums of end plus one we will continue moving our pointer ahead so end will come here fine end will come here so this is our one range this is our one range so when see start is here and end is here so here start is not equal to end start is not equal to end means we found a range a comma b where start is a and end is b so we can just push in our answer array we can take a vector answer and in that we can push start the start comma like uh, we can push the start arrow end we can make a string and we can push that fine now let's say when we are here let's see for this four how for four it's working so when we come to four see so when we are coming to four here start will be three and initially end will be also 3 because we are starting from here start is also we are taking 3 and end is also we are taking 3 now here see here if you go ahead you will so, so here you will see that 4 and 6 are not consecutive right 4 and 6 are not consecutive so, so while condition it will not go in the while condition hence it will not go in the while condition so it will come in else if and in else if what it will be there uh, or you can have uh, if condition also so here what will be there if start is equal equal to end if start is equal equal to end means only there is one element right start is equal to end means it did not go in the while loop so there is only one element so when there is only one element that is a is equal to b so here 4 comma 4 that is a a is also 4 and b is also 4 so when 4 comma 4 is there so what we will do we will be print we will be adding this string in the answer array so in the string we will add 4 which is our start or you can take end so nums of you can say start so this is 4 right so this is how we are proceeding in this problem i hope you understood the approach uh, let's see the code once it will be more clear try to dry run it the uh, the code so see uh, what we are taking, we have taken the size variable and it is storing the size of the vector and then we have this des output array. Fine. So basically this is a edge case. So if like there is nothing in the nums array, so you can just simply return the empty vector. Otherwise we are going to each element in the nums array and what we are doing, we take start and end initially i i fine if you remember first of all we have taken 0 0 now when we were at 4 so we have taken 3 3 right so then 
what we are doing we are uh, going in the while loop until n plus 1 is less than size and what we are checking every time if nums of n plus 1 that is the next element if c if our end is here if right now end is here so we will check the next element end plus 1 this nums of end plus 1 which is 6 we will check whether this 6 is equal to this nums and end plus 1 nums of end plus 1 that is nums of end is what 4 4 plus 1 5 but this 6 is not equal to 5 means they are not consecutive they are not consecutive so we will we will go on the loop until we are getting consecutive numbers so for this while until we are getting consecutive so we are getting consecutive 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 we will go ahead we will increment end and once we uh, do not get the consecutive numbers will this while loop will break we will come at if so end is greater than start so push this string in the resect the rest vector that is if end so here when start is here then end will be at 2 right here so 2 is greater than 0 index hence this 0 comma 2 this uh, uh, will be pushed in the ve vector otherwise else means they will be equal start will be equal to end which was in the case of 4 here start was equal to end so then we will just simply push this simple uh, start num start in the rest vector and finally i we have to do n plus 1 fine because now we have to uh, the next uh, i we have to start from like if we have covered this thing so according to our loop i will be here only because i will go to this position like the next index but we have to start from this because we have already taken these into account right we have already taken these in the while loop so we have to shift our i to the n plus 1 so that it can come to 4 directly fine i hope you understood the problem and the approach um so let's see the time complexity so here see time complexity uh, over here we are going till so it might happen that uh, we have something like this 0 1 2 3 4 something like this we have right so and every time over here see although we have two loops although we have two loops but uh, we will go to each element only once if they are conti consecutive we will only go to those elements once and we will not go again on them right because uh, in the for loop i will go to this index then due to this thing right so time complexity will be o of n and space complexity will be o of 1 like constant because we are using only variables this is the answer vector so we are not considering that fine i hope you understood the problem and the approach dry run once the algorithm you'll better understand and let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video